And continuing our live team coverage now is Tampa Mayor Bob Buckhorn joining us exclusively here in Studio News Channel 8. Of course, you have been in contact today and had a very busy weekend uh, with the National Weather Service talking to them. What steps are the city taking right now? Well, fortunately, Matt, we've done this a lot, uh, mm -hmm. so we know what to do. We take a lot of time preparing. We practice throughout the year. Uh, we're ready in the event this occurs. So things as simple as staging the barricades in areas that we know historically flood. Uh, they are pre-states. They are out there. They're ready to go right now. So when the call goes out, uh, the officers will be able to block those streets and stop people from moving through the neighborhoods where the, we know that the low-lying water will be. You know, sandbags, we've done over 10,000 sandbags uh, just in the last couple of days. We extended the sandbags to 9 o'clock tonight. Right. Hopefully we're going to open up earlier tomorrow morning so people can have access to them. So, you know, one of the things about um, this is we've lived through this before. I mean, we all remember last August. Uh, that was, were, uh, we were out there together, we right there with the sandbags up we there. Were. Yeah. Uh, but we also know how damaging it can be and, and how prepared folks need to be. So take your precautions. Uh, do not drive where you see barricades. If right. there's standing water, do not drive through it. Find somewhere else. It's very proactive rather than reactive, it sounds like, especially uh, what Chip said in his story is that it doesn't have to have a name. We know that this one does, but some of the storms that we get on a regular basis, you said that last time was a very good uh, dry run, if you will, and really preparations in well, place. Well, I'm a big believer in you play on game day the way you practice during the week, and we practice a lot during the week for this. We practice all year round to be ready for this. Having hosted major events like the RNC and mm -hmm. things like that have been helpful to us. Um, our emergency operations center is partially activated right now. And so we're ready to go. I mean, we, we can't control it when it's coming, but we can control the preparation and we can control the aftermath. And it's interesting here in the state of Florida and in Tampa Bay especially, we don't have to have drills. We actually have the weather conditions that are there in front of us and that we can actually prepare with the conditions that we would see in any type of a storm like this one. And the best thing people can do is don't make bad decisions. Don't drive in the standing water. Don't go around the barricades. Don't move the barricades. Uh, they are there for your protection. So just find somewhere else to go. We all know where those areas that flood historically. And right now we're looking at it, Mayor, during this, uh, during this breaking news event. Uh, this is last year, of course, in August of 2015. Again, you and I were out there. Look at some of that water. We hope that people do not make the choice to drive through that water again. Well, I would hope not. Uh, that was a painful lesson for some folks to learn, an expensive lesson. Um, just don't do it. I mean, uh, don't be stupid. Don't do it. Right. All right. Thank you so much, Mayor Bob Buckhorn, exclusively here in studio and News Channel 8 during this event. And we know you're going to have a busy 24 hours. We'll catch up with you then. You got it. Okay.